손절을 yeah, we will finish off uh, section 9.3 in 5 minutes because we have only one uh, main theory meaning here isomorphism yeah isomorphism yeah we you have learned the definition of linear transformation yeah that satisfies these two properties yeah okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. For, uh, now, instead of Rn to Rm, yeah, we are using a general vector space w, V and W. So T uh, satisfies, if, t, if uh, a map T satisfies these two properties, we call it a T linear, linear transformation for a vector space V and W. This linear transformation satisfies the properties that you have seen, exactly the same properties. Okay? And uh, yeah, we, we define the zero transformation and identity, uh, identity operator, identity transformation, different. And also, yeah, if the contraction mappings and the dilations were defined uh, in chapter six, uh, same work here too. Here, important, interesting thing is uh, C of R is a set of uh, continuous functions uh, from R to R. And uh, we have a subspace of this C of R consisting of differential functions. Then, if you define D as a differential operator, then this D satisfies uh, two conditions of linear transformation. So it is so it is a linear differential operation. So we call it is a differential operation, differential operator. Samely. If we define a J as an integral like this, this also satisfies a condition to be a linear transformation. So J is a linear transformation. What this says are the differentiation and integration that you have learned in high school and college are just an example of linear transformation. So calculus is a part of linear algebra. So everything can be dealt with the this uh, uh, matrix and linear transformation for the integration and differentiation. Kernel and range, yeah, we have defined it. It's the same. So kernel is a set of vectors in V whose images are zero vectors. And that, uh, that, uh, that forms a uh, subspaces. Kernel and images are also subspaces of V and W respectively. We know. Uh, if the linear transformation is injective, and if and only if the corner of T is a singleton, singleton vector, zero vectors. We have learned it. Same theorem. Same fact for Rn. Here work in V. Here's the last definition, isomorphism. If the linear transformation is one to one and one to, then we call it is isomorphism. If there is isomorphism, uh, uh, from a vector space V and W, then we call this V and W are isomorphic. And we, we write it as uh, this. V and W has the uh, same mathematical structures, isomorphic. Here's the last theorem, 9.3.4. Any n-dimensional real vector space is isomorphic to Rn. Any n-dimensional complex vector space is isomorphic to Cn. So, uh, the, polynomial, the set of polynomials of degree at most n minus 1 is a vector space of dimension n, so over R. So this is isomorphic to Rn. The set of n by n matrices over R is a n by n dimensional vector space over R, which is isomorphic to n by n dimensional space over R. So, for any vector spaces over R and C, you don't have to think it differently. You can think with, if we, since we know the nature and properties of R and C and, so any vector spaces over, over R or C, if you know the dimension of it, then you can transform the problem into a problem in Rn or Cn. That's the end of chapter 9. Any question? The comment on chapter 9?
Then, yeah, we will uh, cover chapter 10, Jordan Canonical Form, in the next class.